Hi church and welcome to day 21 of our 21 days. It's been an incredible three weeks and we are super, super excited because tonight is the first night of our three nights of fire. If you hadn't planned to be there, I just want to encourage you to come on down because we're believing that God is going to move powerfully amongst us and it's going to be incredible as we meet together. Um, before we pray for today, I just want to share a couple of thoughts and then we will pray. Today, I want to talk to us for a few moments about restoration. And I want to read a couple of verses from an incredible passage in Isaiah 61. You may know, know these verses really well, but Isaiah 61, one to three says this. As I read this, you may want to close your eyes or you may want to read along with me. But this is what it says. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendour. At the start of this year, God put on my heart to start to pray for restoration for people in our church who needed it. You know, often in life, if we trade something with somebody, we don't trade something of a lesser value. You would want to make sure that you are at least getting a fair deal, if not something greater. You're not going to trade your thousand pound for a bag of rubbish. Or my son Sam is certainly not going to trade his best football card for an old rip tatty one. That just doesn't happen. But here in Isaiah 61, we see the Lord offering us a beautiful unnatural divine exchange beauty for ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair you see that is what jesus is able to do and that is who jesus is and so wherever you're at today whatever brokenness you're feeling whatever loss you have felt i really believe that he is one that comes alongside us and that is able to restore. You know, I went through a season um, that was really difficult and I felt incredibly broken. I had lost hope, lost joy, um, probably lost peace and just was probably bitterly uh, disappointed. And I found myself in this season, I remember falling to my knees one day in the kitchen and saying, oh God, I need you. I am, I am bitter, I am angry, I am hurt. And please, would you come in and would you come and restore me? And you know, I watched really as the Lord just came and bit by bit brought restoration to my life. And I look back now and think, wow, Lord, look what you did. Today, we wanna pray for you. And we want to stand together as we lift up those in our midst who are feeling a sense of brokenness right now. We want to pray for God's restoration this year and believe that at the end of the year, you can look back and say, as it says in Psalm 118, the Lord has done this and it is marvellous in our eyes. So we're going to pray right now and we're going to pray for broken hearts, broken lives, um, broken relationships. We're going to pray for God's restoration right now. So let's just uh, close our eyes as we join our faith together and agree today for restoration this year. Lord, we want to thank you that you are a God of restoration and we just bring every situation, every person to you today, Lord, where there is brokenness and Holy Spirit, we invite you in that you would come and restore, that you would restore joy, that you would restore hope, 
that you would bring beauty for ashes and the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. We thank you, God, for who you are and, and what you do and what you are able to do. And we give you thanks and praise today. Amen. Amen. Well, church, I am believing and we're expecting to hear testimonies at the end of this year, what God is going to do in our lives. And um, please come to Nights of Fire tonight. Um, this could be your, your moment where you receive a powerful touch from God. So have a brilliant day and let's continue to pray today for restoration. Thanks, church. Bye.